Hi, I'm Jim Springer with Computer Aided Technologies, the maker of ScanCat Light Plus. This is the third in a series of tutorials. In tutorial one, we covered Radio Shack scanners, how to get connected using the 20-047 cable, and some very basics on using database files from the uh, Radio Shack files, which are called RSD database. In tutorial two, we covered how to mix and merge several databases together and add them and copy and paste so that you can create a custom database from the pre-formatted RSD files. In this tutorial, we're going to cover unit and radios. Now, they're a little bit different. They use dynamic memory allocation, which means you only use the amount of space necessary to put frequencies in a system. On Radio Shack, if we got 27 frequencies, the rest of the space is more or less wasted. You cannot add two trunken systems together in the same bank, so really you waste the last, the last 70 channels in that particular bank. With Uniden, it only uses the amount of space necessary to hold the frequencies for a particular system, so you can go well beyond the 10 banks or systems you could have 70 or 80. So first let's go up here and pick the unit and scanner and you'll notice in here we have an auto configure unit in, which means the unit and radios can be pulled by the software. We can find them and identify them and set up all the parameters for you without having to do it yourself. It'll go through all the ports, find the radio and if it's there it says detected in this case BCD 396 set for 115 200 it's on COM port 4 that's really all we need to do so we hit accept and the screen is going to change a little the frequencies and everything are now moved over to the right here we have a systems in the radio list box or index if you will and you click on systems in radio it'll pull the radio find whatever systems are in it and display them in this box In this particular case, we have eight or nine systems, including some from Dallas, Fort Worth, Vegas, and my local Shreveport and Bossier area. If I didn't need the Vegas anymore, all I'd have to do is just click on one of these, go up here to the button that says Delete System, and it will take that single system out of the radio's memory and delete the whole thing. It'll then move all of this up and the selection will now come up on the next Vegas and you could simply delete one two three just as quick as that now when you get the radio from the factory you'll find I had 80 or 90 systems in it a lot of those are cities that you'll never hear and even if you do hear frequencies on it the descriptions are not going to be for your local area if you hit this delete system button with a right click it's going to ask you if you want to erase the entire number of systems in the radio. In this case, I'm going to say no, but you could take them all out at one fell swoop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to load up a database, and we're going to add a few systems to the radio, much the same way we did with the Radio Shack, but a little bit different concept. With Radio Shack, we loaded all ten at one time. With Uniden, you can only load the one that's in view, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to uh, pick Texas, and we're going to go over here to Austin. And here we have a system one and two and three. There may be some empties. So I want to put this system in the radio right here. Now down at the bottom it says System 2 for the system name. If I really want to know what it is, System 2 may not make much sense, so I'm going to type in U Austin. Then just go up and say Create System. What this is going to do, it's going to create a new system that's whatever is in this grid. It will not do 3 or 1 or 7 or 8, only number 2. and you go through the frequencies put them in the radio just that quick 
Now it comes up with a box and it wants to know if you want to add another system. The reason this is here is as long as you continue to say yes, nothing on the screen is refreshed. It doesn't look at the radio and you continue to go from bank to bank, system to system, and create more. Now you're not stuck with one database. You could skip around. Just say yes. I go back over here. And if we decide we wanted to do Tarrant County or if we wanted to go to Florida, I erased Florida, but I can show you just how to go back and get them back again. Here's Dade County. Load that one up. See if we got a trunking system here. There's one. Now, if it's digital, you do want to make sure that you pick, in this case it's EDAX, but I'll just show you this. If it was a Motorola Type 2 system and it was digital, you would want to pick one of these two. But in this case, it's EDAX, so we just do this. All the frequencies and all the talk groups and all the other associated settings are all loaded at one time. And it works pretty quickly. Once you get used to this, you could load 10 or 15 systems into your radio in about 10 or 15 minutes. Unplug her and you're ready to go on your vacation. Just that quick. And it goes through it again. This is a conventional system, probably some marine radio. It would be handy to have down in the Florida, in the Gulf, and on the uh, East Coast. Now, once you're through, you just press No. What this will do, it will initialize the database to what's in the radio, not what you loaded up here from your hard drive. So you say No when you're through. Go up here, hit Systems in Radio. It will repopulate this index or list box. Now we enlisted one here as System 3. I'm going to say that's Austin because I can't remember. But if I need to change this, you can go back over here now to the settings, which is one of these menu options up here. And here's where you can rename your systems, change your quick keys, set your hold, whether you want the system locked out so it's not scanned in the radio. And all this can be done either all at one time or you can just pick an individual one so in this case to save a little time I'm just going to go over here and name system 3 as Austin uh, number 2 hit enter change my quick key to uh, 1 2 3 4 make it 5 okay now if I did a lot of changes on a different number of systems here, I want to use Save All Systems, but it's a little shorter if you just use this to hit the highlighted one. So select it, and then that'll reset those changes that you may have messed up, or you can change it to anything you want. And it'll continue to do that, and it'll read the system again and show you your edit changes. There you go. Okay, when you're through, just click out. Now, this is the end of tutorial three. We get about 10 minutes per tutorial, and we'll cover more basics and then some advanced features of both the Radio Shack and the unit and radios. I want to thank you for your support and your business.